Wow. Good morning. All right, my stomach kind of hurts because I just woke up and I immediately had cinnamon toast crunch. That's what I've been trying to do. Whoops. I don't know how to hold this correctly. Oh, no. Good morning. It is Saturday, February 6th. 8.37 p.m. A.M. A.M. Oh, God. Wow, that's how fake news happens. You just saw it. 8.30 in the morning, and I decided that I'm going to vlog this weekend a little bit. Now my stomach hurts. Maybe I'm not meant to have cinnamon toast crunch first thing in the morning. Perhaps it is for children. These are the kind of epiphanies we have. I decided I want to vlog a little bit because I wanted a little bit of, like, accountability to do my, my day a little bit, my days. I've been doing a whole lot of nothing, like letting myself take breaks, letting myself get some space from things, but then also taking so much space that I like forget what it's like to have structure at all or like motivation at all. I've been trying in various ways, but I haven't tried this yet. So I'm gonna try to vlog. We'll see what we can do today. I have plenty that I want to do today. Elliot's not here uh, because he is in what is called residential right now. We're both going back to school. I'll tell you about this later in a different area of the house to get some dynamic energy in this vlog. It's not gonna be half hour just in bed, even though that would be very authentic and very transparent. No, he's in residential. It's um, once a quarter for our school programs that we're in. Um, we have like a concentrated amount of classes on a Thursday to a Sunday. And so he is over in his office in school right now and I'm in the school of life right now. This is a sleep mask. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this before. Probably not, because I haven't showed you guys anything. This is a sleep mask that I'm obsessed with. I love very much. I thought they were stupid at first. This is Lunya is the brand. I think it was an Instagram ad actually. And this wasn't cheap. This was probably like 40 bucks, which sounds really stupid for a sleep mask, but it is so incredibly comfortable and it provides just the right amount of pressure on my temples at night when I sleep and I'm obsessed with them, so. Wow, already this is wild. I'm gonna continue to wake up and then we'll see what else we talk about later. How about that? Welcome to a couple days of vlogging with me. Yeah, we're doing it. Uh. Candy for breakfast. I still will continue to do it. I have not learned my lesson. Uh-oh, we just get more glamorous as the day goes on. Hi, we're gonna try and work out. Yeah, can you believe this is the before working out? <laughs> wow, and just like that, we're clean. Look at this. How do we put makeup on? Vlogging has really uh, allowed me to try to impress myself. You guys, incredible. Thank you for this opportunity. We did exercise. It's the second time I've done exercise in a week. Before that, the last time I did exercise was probably September. So, hey, there's a little goose over there because we went for a W. There's an older wiggle. And we ate some lunch. So, wow, we are living life like a human my roots are wild right now here's a tip if you have wild roots and wild hair hold on whoa suddenly the problem is solved look at just a convenient beautiful this might get weird podcast beanie available at dftba link in the description instantly i'm cool i look like i might have looked at a penny board at some point in my life I look like i gotta work on matching my foundation more correctly to my skin tone anyway well okay Hold on, I'm great at this, nothing has changed. Oh, also, so yes, um, we moved. I, we're still putting our house together, so maybe eventually down the line at some point, I'll do like a house thing. Um, but I also like like my privacy, so I, I get on the fence about that kind of stuff, but we'll see. Maybe I'll catch myself in a mood that's willing to super share one day. It's two o'clock, so we're gonna make a cup of coffee and do some other business. Look at this, all it took was me vlogging and caring about people thinking I got a schedule and shit together to get a schedule and get shit together. She's looking out because see that little shed thing over there? That shed is actually Elliot's office and that's where he's currently doing school, like school books, et cetera. Okay. Even though we moved, the giraffe is still here. You don't have to fear. Mm, don't know about rhyming. So this is my office space, which 
I have ideas for making it more of an office space, but I'm sitting at my desk because in speaking about This Might Get Weird, the podcast that Mamrie and I have, we also have a Patreon, which if you're interested, I'll put the link down below. And every week on Patreon, I've been doing drag race recaps, like written out, and I have been enjoying so much writing them. I take a long time to like write out a full essay almost about my thoughts on each episode. So I try and put them up on Saturdays and we're on episode six. So there's five recaps up there. If you're interested, wanna go check out our Patreon and see them for yourself. This has become like the thing that takes me the most time every week. And I really enjoy it because it's like forcing me to sit down and like do a thing, use my brain, get back to writing a little bit. I mean, I use the word writing loosely. Okay, well, it's officially two hours later. It's four o'clock, 3.58 p.m. and I'm just done with my Patreon drag race recap post. Yeah, I put a lot of work into them. You can see how shiny my makeup has gotten because I get all excited when I'm writing about it. But it's so much easier to just incubate, you know, the next time I have that. Some important development to, you know, in the night's activities. Okay, so tonight uh, consists of Taskmaster putting away a HelloFresh extra meatloaf oh, meal. Oh, Hi! Okay. And then here's a new fun development that Goose likes to do at night that when we start watching TV and eating dinner, she, uh-oh, lays on the bed. Hello, good afternoon. Oh, I caught you with your butt up. Good morning, Goose. <laughs> oh, why is this body work? Good morning. It's 8.15 a.m. on Sunday and I'm putting some chips back because I just ate chips in bed uh, because it's Sunday and that's how I celebrate the Lord. Elliot just went over to his little Ellie hut over there because he's got his last day of full classes today. So I'm gonna not put the chips in the refrigerator. I'm gonna slowly get myself out of bed, very slowly. And then we'll have a day. Yeah, a row with chips all over it. I'm perfect. I need to make the bed this morning, but there's a little... Hello? <laughs> We've yet to brush our hair, but we put it out. My hand. It's only 9.30 in the morning, and it's a huge Sunday. Do you know why? I finally decided to start watching Love Island. An incredible development. I thought that was gonna be the biggest part of this Sunday, and then my mom just texted saying, Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, that's the other thing I guess is going on today. Do we do anything? I don't have to, like, people can do whatever they want now, right? There are no rules. We truly live in an Outback Steakhouse. Let that one rattle around in your brain cage for a little bit. I'm gonna clean myself up. Got another big development happening today. Good morning. <laughs> Anyone else do this? Huh? Sunday, self-care day. We're putting BOI strips everywhere we think we need it. I'm wearing the mask, which I love to wear. Um, my face gets a little broken out in the area, so we do this. Please stick around for all of your health, lifestyle, and beauty needs. Hello, I have put uh, paint on my face. It's noon, it's noon. I've been doing, what have I been doing? I turn this on and tell you what I was doing. I've been having a healthy balance of reading for school because oh yeah so basically Elliot and I are uh, in graduate programs I'm in like an engaged humanities and creative life program which is very cool and it's got a little bit of a, a foundation in depth psychology which I'm finding extremely interesting if anyone out there is into Jung, depth psychology, archetypes, all you know, buzzword, buzzword, buzzword but today we're doing a healthy balance of reading for our schoolwork and watching Love Island. I think it's probably a great mashup for me. Let me just give you a little sound bite of what I just read that kind of blew my mind. This is a book called The Courage to Create by Rollo May. It was published in like 1975, but all of these things that uh, they're talking about are so relevant to now. In the beginning, it goes through all the different types of courage that there are, is, and obviously one is physical courage, but they say, we need a new kind of physical courage that will neither run rampant in violence nor require our assertion of egocentric power over other people. I propose a new form of courage of the body, the use of the body not for the development of muscle men, but for the cultivation of sensitivity. 
Gonna let that one marinate in your brain. That was written in 1975. Woo! It was never even close. I've always said it about these Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> I'm a big fan from Florida and from Tampa myself. Yeah. You, from, you've always you've been saying this whole sports season. Yeah, TB's gonna get they the TDs, you know? Hi, vlogging that I started and haven't completely finished. It's Monday afternoon, 3.30. I have schoolwork that I'm doing today, so this is me. Reading, doing schoolwork, also watching a little bit of Love Island. Important updates of today, painted my little nubs of nails to try not to bite them. And I just realized that I've had my underwear on inside out all day long. Big day! Okay. Um, here's one thing I realized. I'm pretty shit at vlogging. And I'm talking that way because I've been watching episodes upon episodes of Love Island. I'm on episode six of season six. I finished my homework, so I'm allowed. And I gotta say, guys, there's a bug in here. Government spy. Maybe this is an unpopular opinion. It's kind of boring. I must be so jaded by the disgusting shenanigans of uh, American reality dating TV culture. But yeah, it's pretty slow. Is that how it always is? Pretty tame. Maybe it's because I only understand like 20% of what everyone is saying, but who knows? I'm only on episode six, so maybe it gets better. I don't, am I, no, I'm on episode seven. And I'm talking in the cadence of them. I got it, sorry, this happens. Experimenting with different angles here, guys. Um, I'm gonna make myself and Elliot, for when he gets home, some dinner, and guess what I'm making? HelloFresh, we're making some cranberry Dijon pork tenderloins. Hey, we're in the kitchen. Gonna cook it, watch some Love Island, and this is what's happening tonight. This is what happens most nights, but now you get to see it. Coming at y'all, take that. And while you're watching me cook in fast motion, what a beautiful time to tell you about HelloFresh. Did you know that HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit? Now you do. They make, as you can see here, cooking at home fun, easy, and guess what? Affordable. They have so many recipes that you can choose from each week. I'm talking low-cal, carb-smart, vegetarian, perhaps pescatarian. They're all there for you each week. And they cut out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Their pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep for you and less food waste. And you can add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order. You can throw in extra proteins or you can add in yummy meal compliments like HelloFresh's best-selling garlic bread. And HelloFresh is dedicated to giving back. They're committed to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe. As always, if you are interested in HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 10HELBIG to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com, use my code 10HELBIG to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Wow, I did it, I did it, and me did it, and just me. Can you tell at all that I slept horribly last night? <laughs> oh, I slept terrible last night, it's like 9.30. There's a little worm in the bed here. There's a little that thing right there. Just part of the reason I slept horrible last night. We've been in this house four months and we don't have like a doggy door system, and so she wakes me up in the middle of the night to go outside to use the restroom. Sometimes twice. We have uh, got to get a better system. I can be said of so many things. Oh, I didn't vlog at all yesterday. My bad. What happened yesterday? Oh, I went to Mamrie's and podcasted. I tried to get hummingbirds to land on my head. Did you know that there's an animal shelter in Kentucky to let their cats piss on your ex's name for Valentine's Day? Oh, and then Elliot and I watched Ready Player One last night. That movie was a lot. It was a little high. And that movie was a lot, a lot. Whoa, this movie is so much. Yeah. Maybe that's why I also didn't sleep well last night. Okay, we're gonna try to counteract this feeling and maybe exercise. Can you even believe if I do that? I can't, I'm going to try. Hi friends, it's now 4.30 at night and I'm editing this vlog and realize I didn't end this vlog. I did exercise, very cool. I had a two hour class this afternoon that I just finished and now I'm ending the vlog that hopefully you have watched and enjoyed. And that's it. If you guys like these vlogs, let me know. I had a fun time doing it. Perhaps I should do 
these more. Uh, I have a new sweatshirt that has big fluffy sleeves. What a fun development. All right, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you want that HelloFresh deal, the link is in the description box below. And other than that, I don't know. <laughs> Really good. Really good.